So let's take a look at a trapezoid. And I'm going to start by dealing with the faces of this trapezoidal prism that are actually trapezoids, thus the name trapezoidal prism. So um, let's just take a look at the what I would consider the front face. So I'm going to outline this front face. And you can see that it's a trapezoid and not a rectangle because uh, the bottom and the top have two different dimensions, if you will. It's five inches across the bottom and nine inches across the top. And so to find the area of a trapezoid, and I'll abbreviate that T-R-A-P, you're going to use the formula one-half times the height of the trapezoid, which you can see they've marked that. They put a right angle right here, and then they show you coming up from the base to the top uh, what that height dimension is. And then you multiply that by B1 plus B2, okay? And so if we go ahead and plug in the numbers there, they were kind enough to tell us or show us that the height there, so one half and then the height is 4.6 inches, I'll fill the dementia, the units in later. And then the bases are five and nine. And so five plus nine is 14. So what we really have here to make the math a little bit simpler to do is half of 14. And then we're gonna multiply that by 4.6. So half of 14, of course, is seven. So we have seven times 4.6. And if we do the math there, we get four, let's see, I think we're gonna get 32.2 there. And then the units are gonna be inches squared because this is an area. So that's the area of the trapezoid. Now what you have to realize is that there are actually two faces that have the, those exact same dimensions. So I'm going to erase what I've traced here for just a Second, let me get rid of that so that I can then highlight in for you. There is a back side. So if I take a minute and kind of shade in or highlight that back side, it has the exact same dimensions. So basically, for the total area of the trapezoid, so this is the trapezoidal area, um, and I'll put underneath this the total because there are two faces that have that same, those same dimensions and therefore that same area. So we're gonna do two times 32.2, and that's gonna give us a total of 64.4 square inches for our area for the trapezoids, those two faces, okay? So now let's go ahead, I'm gonna erase the red, and let's look at the other faces. So uh, I'm gonna choose blue, and now I'm gonna outline for you one of the, I guess I'd sort of call it maybe, rather than a front face, a side face, if you will. And there are gonna be two of these also that are identical, and I'm gonna go ahead and outline the other one directly across from it in blue. So those two sides, which are also identical, are rectangles. And if you look closely at those, I think you can see that their dimensions are five by six. So I'm gonna put area, and I'm gonna put a little R for rectangle. In fact, I'll even do REC for rectangle. And we see that the dimensions there are five inches by six inches and that gives us a total of 30 square inches. But since there are two of those, so my area of my rectangles total, and maybe I should even mark that these are, you know, sort of side rectangles because we're also gonna have two more faces that we have to consider that will be rectangles. But for now, we'll just go ahead and do two times 30. And so that gives us a total of 60 square inches for those two faces. And now let me get rid of the blue and let's take a look at the top and the bottom of this prism. So, and those are not going to be identical. 
Um, so I'm gonna use different colors for those. And I'm gonna start with the bottom and I'm gonna trace that out in green for you. So if we look at that, and this is, you wanna be aware that these dimensions, in this case, it looks like we've got a five inch uh, width, if you will, and then a length of six inches because that length is the same as that six going across the top that they labeled. So my area for this, I'll come over here in green, my area for this rectangle, the green rectangle, is also gonna be five by six, but that's just a coincidence in this case because they chose to make that one dimension of five. Um, they didn't have to do that. So we're gonna get 30 square inches there also, and that's for the bottom. So if you wanna label that bottom, just so we're clear on where that number came from. And then the last thing, of course, would be the top. So let's get rid of the green, and I'm gonna go ahead and um, choose yellow, and I'm gonna trace that in for you also in yellow. So here's the top rectangle, if you wanna think of it as the lid in a sense. And so that area um, is also a rectangle, and that's uh, six by nine. So that's 54 square inches. And I'm gonna mark that that's the top, if you will. Okay, so now we have to put this all together. So let's look at what our total surface area is. So the total surface area, we're just gonna add these up. And I'm gonna to attempt to do this without a calculator. <laughs> we'll see how that works out. So let's take these numbers. We've got, um, 64.4 for two of the faces total. And then we had another 60 for two of the faces. And then we had the bottom was 30 and the top was 54. So let's see what happens when we add this up. So four and then four and four is eight. And then let's see, six and six is 12. 12 and three is 15. And 15 and five is 20. So we're gonna get a total of 208.4 square inches. And that's your total surface area and your final answer. Let me know if you have any questions.